YouTube, it's your buddy Wolf from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online, www.whatsupinthesky.com. And it's been a while since I've done my own Cirrus video. Or Cir it's, it's amazing the pictures where we're getting from this newer mapping. Um, all sorts of stuff going on in them. There's been a couple of them that have been just tremendous. Here are the bright lights at the uh, Akator Crater. Um, tremendous looking at these and the next one I'm going to show you the next image too tell me this doesn't look like two cities that were uh, these are about the size of LA each it looks like that one time there were cities this one looks exploded they could have been domed who knows it definitely looks awesome whatever it is and it is bright these uh, had NASA had to take two images of this, a really short exposure and then a long exposure just to get this. This is directly how it came from NASA. Here's what uh, some of my enhancement I did to it here um, to pull out just how bright these things are and how much geometry is actually in them. Even around the areas here up at the top, let me show you, just up here there's some amazing stuff. Um, I'm going to leave some of these some of the stuff if you go to the website you're always going to get the enhanced version of some of these images if you watch this image was brought up in the Richard C. Hoagland other side of midnight show we did the other day with uh, a bunch of us on there it was a round table discussion I'm going to have my uh, Mars stuff on there on October 2nd the second hour of October 2nd so if you want to check that out but here is the latest one of the latest ones from Dawn sent back. Let me show you where I got them. And I want you guys, I see how I've twisted a little bit here. I want you guys to sit back for a second and take a really good, I'm going to get it to where I had it before. Um, there's a couple different places that I want you to see. And I want, I'm going to let you get your eyes adjusted to it for a second. Here's where you get the one. I always download the TIFF. This, they seem to be a little bit bigger. Not much loss of resolution in these when I blow them up. Pretty amazing. Um, here's the other TIFF right here, directly from NASA. So you can see I got these from NASA. Here's the, how this one looks directly from it. All I've done was sharpened it a tad and added a little bit of brightness on some of them. But here's where we're getting into life was on or is on this planet. At, at some point, underground, something was going on here. And how do I know that is the geometry. When you see... Um, we're talking here, each pixel, and I've blown this up so it's a little bit more than each pixel, um, is about a football field here. And if you start getting into this stuff, you're going to start noticing all the geometry. And I've spun this around, and it's laid out just like any other city would be. Um, you've got tubes that come off certain things, but some of the really, really good stuff, let me come down here. And just let your, like I said, I'm going to let your eyes adjust to it. Is some of the blocks, I mean, you've got perfect. Okay, if this was just battered by, you know, craters or whatnot, we're looking at little domes or little buildings or something that were created here. And there is an awful lot of them. And you can see they have all sorts of uh, geometric um, placement to them. Check this piece out here. It comes down. It's really long. I'm going to come in a little bit here. It's a uh, tube system of some sort. And we're talking about from here to here is a football field. Here to here is a football field. We're, these are pretty big structures. But look how it comes down. And it takes a step down 90 degrees. Takes another step down 90 degrees. We're talking artificial, artificial stuff. Um, here, you, you start to notice when you let your eyes adjust... You get these domes. This is probably how I should have it. It seems to be more of how our eyes. One, two, three, four. The perfect same size domes sitting right here. And I know I need to take my trackpad batteries down. But one, two, three, four sitting. And here they sit in front of one, two, three, four, five. Coming across in a, uh, a, a rectangular pattern there. Which is uh, sits right on the edges from here. Here you've got straight lines. I mean, it looks like city planning has been done here. And this is a very close-up image. We're not, like I said, we're not that far off. Look, you've got square buildings or shapes. Um, I mean, perfect square shapes there. Let me see if I could, just for giggles, show you that it is. Looks like there's four points on it. Oh, I can't do it because I spun the image right now. Um, 
see what I mean? See, it takes it north. This is how the image actually came. But I know, like I said, it looks, it's much easier to notice it when you spin it just ever so slightly so you can see it. Now here, once again here, if you start looking at this, just like take, take your time, just kind of look at this. Even where you have these deep shadows, you can still see the uh, one, two, three, four, five. You can still see the geometry inside of it. Here you've got one, two, three. These little, they look like little domes to me. And when I say that because half of them have the sun lit on it and the rest of them have the shadow on it. So these are pretty bright, um, you know, and... This would be a size of a football field. That would be a size of a football field. Imagine the actual size of some of these things as we move through here. Um, pretty cool. And this, like I said, NASA has pretty much given us a, an image that you can go download. The directions to download or it's just a link will be below. And you can get this thing and blow it up yourself. Or you can go to the website and you're going to see all sorts of enhanced images here. Look at the, like I said, look at the, the double. There's circles here with, with like tubes coming out one way with one, two, three buildings right next to each other. And I'm calling them buildings because they're, you know, within the size of football fields, football stadiums. They look like domes, most of these things. And you'll notice just as you go through this whole image that it goes with the lay of the land. So not everything is perfectly north, south, you know, it seems to go with the land, how it moves. Um, and there was also, so there was a lot more. Okay, let's, here we go. Getting into some more of these. Okay. Here it is right here. Here's what I was looking for. Look how these pipes run, just like you would see on a metro system here in the United States on a curve. You've got one tube coming up that way. Hopefully you guys can see that. One tube running up that way, and the one back tube running up that way. And this seems to be on top of it, but it follows the same general route. I mean, we're talking some pretty amazing stuff here that uh, is just sitting out there. It seems like every place we go, we find life. Life is on our planet is the constant. And I do believe out in the galaxy it is the constant. Whether there is life there now or quick, you know, they say that there is um, from here that there is a mist or an atmosphere that's generated by these lights, whatever this is. Um, they look like ruins to me. This doesn't look active, but it looks like the remnants of something active. Here, you could, this right here, I thought could be possible some of that. Um, could be part of the city water part that's just still burning up. Who knows? Everybody acts like just because something's so far away from the sun that, you know, it's got to be a cold, dead planet. And maybe that's just not the case. Maybe things, maybe you, certain things interact a lot differently on other planets that allow more heat to stay in. Uh, maybe not escape. Maybe stuff going on under the surface that we don't know about. Um. But all sorts, of, like I said, all sorts of cool stuff on these new images that came back. And this is just one that I took a look at. And, of course, like I said, you could see a lot of this say, oh, well, that's just, uh, you know, a bunch of craters. Well, I, I, I want you to really sit back and take a look at this because you have very similar sized buildings right next to each other and he like said you got here you've got the same layout as, as you have down here um, I think we're looking at very sophisticated very sophisticated work um, here you've got another piece if you can watch come up and come around and anywhere I've gone on this picture and here's where the it starts getting rock like it looks like this is a very rocky area of it so you'd expect, you know, the stuff wouldn't be as as square as down below. But there's still, look, one, let's check this. Let's get this up tight here. One, I know when it starts losing, sometimes you might have to pull back a little bit to look at some of this stuff. But here, look at the how they come across in straight lines. One building, two building, they look like they come down. I mean, there's rectangular geometry in all of this stuff here. Um, and it's not 
JPEG. There's not a bunch of JPEG compression in this image. This one's actually been given to us so we can go take a look at it and explore it. Um, as the, and we've got one more mapping to go. So I'm hoping Dawn successfully just cruises down to its next altitude and is able to get the images. I think they're going to have, they're going to say that the uh, lights are too bright because they had such a hard time getting them at this altitude. When they get down to about 200 miles off the thing, it's going to be a lot type, a lot brighter because they're fairly big. They said they're about the size of uh, you know, Los Angeles, each, each side of it. But hope you guys are seeing this, this geometry that I am in this one. I'm going to go ahead and definitely put a lot of these out on the Websites funny how many I should start putting the arrows in like I have before especially when I'm looking at something like this Because there was so much more I noticed I've been sitting there looking at this image for a couple of days before I made the video And how this is so interesting check that out the s curved what looks like uh, above ground Some sort of above ground piece Let me get down to where Let me pull this out a little bit Okay and when I say that, like this one and this one right here look to be about the same size. Um, what are their what are their craters? I do not believe they are. I think we're looking at planning, and I think they used whatever the landscape around was to plan. That's why you're that's why you're getting a lot of like this here. One, two. These two are the exact same size. They look like domes. And then you have what look like tubes and maybe this doesn't maybe this planet didn't whoever was here and whoever civilized this needed to have pressurized tubes or something along those lines i think we're never going to know until we get down to this next mapping and even then until we can put something of our own where you know the public actually controls the images not a government because nasa and jpl have not not been the greatest stewards of information to us, I can tell you that much. When we find obfuscation in images and it's easily found, um, you have to wonder what we're getting. So even with this stuff, I'm not trying to make you guys sick. I'm just trying to find this one more spot that I wanted to show you that had a lot more geometry. This is it down here, some of it. Okay, here we go. Check this out. Okay, just see how it comes and spins around and it comes out, but then when it comes out, you've got, it almost looks like you've got outbuildings on these things. And like I said, this may just be, maybe my imagine. I see what I see, you see what you see. Um, but I see a place that has had some amazing things going on. Here again, check out that square piece right there. And it comes up, and there's a circular piece right there. It comes around, and look at this circular piece right here that seems to be on a platform. It's even blurred out a little bit. Uh, who knows why the blur is there? That just could be the lighting. Could be even be putting something out of smog that caused that. Who knows? We're looking at uh, taking pictures on our way there. We're now downloading the data. We've already passed this. Uh, and this is August something when we got these pictures in when they took it. So it takes a little while for these to get back to us. Um, and then it probably takes NASA a little while to look at the dang things before they send them off to us. But check that. This, this right here, you know, it looks like it's being held in the air by something. And it, it looks like one of the tubes that you would see here at the metro station. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope you can see the symmetry or the, the geometry like I do. Let's flip back over real fast to the... Uh, and I invite you to download this. this I'm going to have this image and this other one here for you to download. I invite you to look at it and, and step back and look. Like I said, here where you've got the, the piece that comes up and around the corner... Um, here where you've got two little ones just out here in the middle of nowhere about the same exact size so it, you'd have to believe that there's some sort of planning going on in this some in, in to me like i said i see what i see you see what you see and my next one's gonna be on pluto and pluto has even more of this on there i mean it's amazing what the new shots have sent back there's an atmosphere there. There's all sorts of good stuff going on on Pluto. I think the uh, I think we are in that 
age of disclosure. We're, we're slowly being told what's going on, and it's people like you and people who are out there actually looking to figure it out and then showing this stuff to your friends, picking out one or two things that you say, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Like we've got this straight line here of, of image things coming across. They come to a circular piece right here. Um, here's another piece that looks almost like a little worm side. Like they, they look like, and they're football field size. Like I said, this is about a football field here. Here is, is you'd say a football stadium because it's 450 feet. So you're thinking more like a stadium size. Um, but the idea is to find something you enjoy to share and share it with people. That's why I make my videos. I want you to download the links and I want you to go check these things out for yourself. Not just take my word because I tell you what, a lot of, especially getting the eye to pick this stuff out, um, just takes a lot of sitting here and staring. Then, then the geometry of things start to show up and it takes a minute. Like I said, here you've got one, two, three circular dome pieces it looks like that look the exact same size. And they'd be, like I said, each of these would be about the size of a stadium. All right, let me flip back. I still missed one thing on there that I want to show you guys. I don't see it right off the back. I should have marked it before I started, but hey, that's okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of these up here. Just one more time, come in and look. Look how this one has almost a perfectly square nature to it. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool. And the fact that they had to take two composites to give us the composites, I would really wish that NASA would give us both of the images so that we could download them and take a look at them. The Pluto team from New Horizons seems to be giving a lot of the images up. Not just the ones we're finding, you know, on their website. There's a whole other slew of them that are, they get these, they, they the smaller one that they make these big, huge composites from, but... Interesting stuff over here on this side of the rim where uh, the lights are at. Not sure what's going on, but it seems to have a uh, circular shape cut into one of these. And then some almost would look like laid down. You can see the shadows on them so that they seem like they're actual real. Big, huge, long, almost look like an obelisk that is not necessarily with the, like a long shape of something like that. But all right, guys. Download these, add them to your thing. It's going to be awesome. Much love to you. Hope you're having a good one. We're getting back into the videos. I promise some space news coming up, a Pluto video, some Mars stuff. I mean, like I said, we're getting back into it. And moon stuff. Check out what's up in the sky.com. A lot of good people there posting. And I mean, it's really starting to take off. I need, I'm even going to get some of my new video stuff from there. Um, just because they keep adding to the pile of stuff that deserve to be talked about and shown. Uh, so much love to you. Hope you're having a good one. Take it easy. Peace.